My name is Ginger and I'm going to be making Thai dumpling. So the dumpling we're going to make today is actually supposed to be called Pansip Liang. But because this is my first time doing it, we're going to see how it turns out. And if it doesn't taste good, it's not because the recipe is bad. It might just be that me blotching up the recipe itself. So what we're going to do first is we're going to make the wrapper. So we're going to put in our rice flour and our tapioca flour. And then we're also going to supposedly slowly stir in the um, water with the coconut sauce and the vegetable oil. But since it's a hazelnut creamer, it's already ready. Just just it. So. Here's my lovely assistant Amanda to hand me the. <laughs> do you want to help me do this? Sure. Okay, here, Amanda. Oh, okay. Yes. And now we're gonna take a commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> this ingredient is, is like this recipe is best if you have a helper so you can just watch them do it and they were like just do it and you're like yeah yeah almost there so now that Amanda has beautifully stirred up all our dough we're going to have to heat this up first for one time so once you have your dough you have to stir it in medium low heat until it becomes more doughy first and then we're gonna continue Amanda Yes. Would you like to help me? <laughs> yes. And here is my assistant Amanda again, who's going to help me stir the dough. Okay, good job, Amanda. And you can keep on talking. <laughs> Let's make the dough. We're going to do some pounding for the fillings in the inside. So we take the coriander seeds and the garlic and the pepper. And we're supposed to have a pester and a motar thing to ground it, but all I have is a fork, so I'm just gonna fork it until it becomes all powdery and pasty. Jin, Jin, do you wanna help? So here's our number three assistant, Jin. He's gonna help us pound this into a pasty thing. You wanna see? Close up? Yeah, keep going, keep going. It's getting there. It's pounding? Yeah. Just pound it. Keep going. It's getting there. <laughs> oh, we can also do another two. Yes, the goal is to make it thick because if you use the paste right away, it's going to be kind of watery. So what we do with this, with the rice flour especially, is that we give it a little bit of heat so that it'll become more doughy. So if you look at it right now, it's actually more doughy in the beginning, which was more oozy. So after you do this for around five minutes or until it gets to this consistency, you take this and then you put it in a large mixing bowl and allow it to cool for a bit. And before you put it in the mixing bowl, you gotta flour the bowl first. Flour the bowl first. So that it won't stick to the side too much. Same as you would do with anything else. Flour the bowl. Okay. It's hot, so be careful. And you allow this to cool first. So now that uh, we've, we've done the dough, while it's, we're waiting for it to set, we're going to make the chicken portion, the stuffing, the filling. And so what you're going to do first is you're going to turn your heat to medium high and put in some vegetable oil. And we're not going to put in the chicken yet because we're going to put in this paste that our lovely assistant somewhere just helped us make. So it should look a little something like this, or maybe even more, but you know, this is the best we can do, so we're gonna work with this. And I think the pad is supposed to be frying right now, but we'll, we can wait, we can wait. Okay, so now our pan has heated up. And we're, get, we're going to fry this until it smells really nice and fragrant first before we add in our pork. 
<laughs> so basically you can just use any kind of ground meat that you want or even fish because we also have fish billy but that works a bit differently because you add peanuts but I like peanuts so we're gonna add it to our thing anyways so when you have some when you have something that looks like this then I guess it's all this should be ready to go so what we're gonna do with this piece of dough is we're gonna ball them out into little pieces So it looks like that, kind of. And then you're gonna put your stuffing inside. Oh, one second. <laughs> broke. So the reason I put foil on this is just my own reason. Is that um, these are gonna be really fragile when it comes out. So I'm just gonna put it inside this foil paper and steam them. Okay. Here we go. One. Amanda, you can. Stuff in the filling. This? Yes. Spoon. Tiny spoon. Uh oh. Tiny spoons. Yes. Is it too little or too no, much? That's, um, that's fine. So you should just close it. Yes. I, as usual. Yes. Ah. Then close it. Ta-da! Cheese! Number two! <laughs> number one and number two. And then of course up here too. Here? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. That's what you're gonna do. So you grab your little piece. Hey Jen, thanks for the busted No, Is that how you say it? it. But the thing is, I'm not really sure too. But okay, Amanda, try it. Tell me how it tastes. Let's see. So, I, the dough is a little bit thick, but it's usually supposed to be a lot thinner. But mm. here, I'll take the other half. Mm. With sauce. I like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Mm. Thanks for for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye -bye. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. 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 <laughs>